Hello, I thought I'd do a splodge and scribble painting today, which is where I put paint down first and then go over the top with ink lines when it's dried. I did this painting at the end of last week. I just very quickly got it down during the uh, local knit and natter group that I go to. Though I don't knit, I just usually paint something. And then later on, I added some colour pencil details. This is based on a photo I took at my local beach recently. And I thought I'd do this scene again for my splodge and scribble painting. So I've got my Sea White's watercolour travel journal. And I've got out a paint palette, which I just recently put together. This is the paints from my most recent art haul. So I've got my Magello Mission Gold Pure Pigment set, and then just some individual paints. So there's some Sennelier's, a couple of Roman Schmalls, Holbein, Rembrandt and Schmincke. It's a really miserable day here today. I don't know if you can hear the rain. So I'm just going to start by putting some rough watercolour splodges down in approximately the right places. And I'm going to use a number 12 round Princeton Neptune brush, which is a really soft one. So that first splodge there just took a few minutes to do. Just very, very roughly laid down and not going back to anything too much. So I'll let that dry and then I'll put in a few more paint details. I'm going to try and resist doing too much detail though. I'm going to use an Escoda Ultimo brush, size 6. And again, it's quite a soft one that I won't be able to get too much detail with. So I can't get too tempted.
and I'll let this dry now before coming in with some ink. And then I've got my Lamy Safari pen, which I've got platinum carbon ink inside. And I'm just going to roughly sketch the outlines into the picture now. After I've put the ink in, I go back and add some more contrast with paint and I also add some white acrylic pen for highlights. So yes, two different kinds of mixed media pictures. The one on the left started with a pencil sketch, then watercolours, and then coloured pencil on top. And the one today being the splodge and scribble method, with watercolour being put down first. And ink lines afterwards with a bit more paint, and then acrylic pen and soft pastel. Thanks ever so much for joining me, and I hope that perhaps you feel inspired to do some art as well. Bye!